there so we'll start with the warm up so uh, when you do yoga you you should always have a mat because it's more safer and if you don't have mat the chances that you can slip so it's always recommended to use a mat so today we will do a uh, yoga and some body weight exercises and then uh, we'll do uh, a compassion meditation for 10 to 15 minutes so we will start with the warm up so we we rotate the neck ten times. The other side. Now take your right right hand. And then touch your ears, the left side. Get that stretch on your neck. Then we come back. Basically, take your left hand, touch your right ear, and then get that stretch on your neck. Come back to now. We're gonna warm up some shoulders. So for that, uh, it's a regular rehab that we do. Get into this position. Knees bend it slightly. Guys, okay. Matching All right. Knees bend slightly, and then my hands are 90 degree. Right, and then. I'm gonna, so my, this portion stays at the same place. We don't move this. So this is stays as is. And we just rotate the hands, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Now we do the, upper side so we go straight and then we come down and squeeze one two three four five six six seven seven eight nine ten so whenever you do yoga, make sure you remove your shoes and socks because it's more safer. Uh, with socks you can slip, so it's always good to do it with the naked naked foot. Now we do the same thing again. We do the same thing again. You get into our lunch. No, no. Knee slightly. Knee slightly. Getting that Getting that angle. Knee degree. Knee degree. In the. In the. Others, uh, others, uh, 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 microphone. Great. And then we come back and squeeze. Did you say anything, Saruk? Yeah, for everyone uh, other than Pradeep, you mute your microphone. Uh, please mute yourself. Okay, so we do this 10 times. Now, we're gonna stretch the side. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna let, uh, hold my left hand with the right hand like this, right? And then I'm gonna stretch my back right we're gonna hold it for one two three four five we come to the you know, neutral position now i'm gonna grab my right hand with the left hand like this 
and we do the other side. For one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to repeat one more time. Two, three, four, five. We're going to come straight to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to come to the mountain position. We're going to do the forward bend. So my knees are locked and I'm trying to go as low as possible. Right? Now, you're going to hold it for one, two, three, four, five. Now, you can bend your knees a little bit forward. Not a lot, just a little. And try to reach all the way to the ground. So come back to the previous position where the knees are locked and then just, you know, get that uh, stretch in your lower back, just loosen your muscles of the lower back. Right? Come back and bend your knees a little bit forward and then go all the way down. We're gonna work, we're gonna do this one more time. The knees are locked and forward and I'm just trying to get that stretch the lower back and then we're gonna bend the knees and do this. We're gonna lock the knees, come up and then so the next one is basically I'm gonna start with the sun salutation. So for those who doesn't know sun salutation, I'll show you uh, how to do it. So it, it it is with ten steps. So for each step, I'm gonna count. Uh, so first one is this. Second, this. Third, fourth. Now here you can. The easier version is you put your knees in the ground. We also call this as a I'm standing up and finishing finishing up the sun salutation. So this is a whole sequence of the this exercise. So we're gonna do this for 15 times. Uh, and how many times? 15, 15, 15. 1, 5. 1, 5? Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. So here we start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I missed the number. So I'll start again. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. That's two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, 
Number three, one, sorry, number four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, nine. Ten. Ten more. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. the last one. One, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So this exercise is the most important exercise because it works out your whole body and then this exercise is always done before starting a yoga because then your body gets warmed up for the start of the exercise. So now we're going to sit on the floor. We're going to get into a child pose. So for child pose, we just want to have enough width, your legs are folded, and then you reach at front. So basically, you're doing this. So this is kind of a resting exercise after a difficult one. When you are in rest, resting exercise, you have to pay attention to your body sensations that are going around due to the intense exercise. So that kind of brings in a little bit of meditation aspect. Come back to the cat pose. Now here at cat pose, we bring the head up and chest up and try to get that Squeeze the lower back and try to get that stretch. And then we're going to go to the cow pose. So in cow pose, you just do this and breathe out. Squeeze your abs. We're going to come back to the cat pose. Chest up, face up, squeeze the lower back. Going back to the cat pose, breathe out, squeeze your abs. Coming back to the cat pose, chest up, face up, squeeze your lower back. And then the cow pose, breathe out. Squeeze your abs. Now we're going to get into a high plank. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're gonna walk forward, so try as much as you can. And then we stand up, palms together, breathe in and breathe out. Whenever you're ready, go back to the lunch position. Get back. Get back to the hyper. <laughs> Stay here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and we walk forward. Stand up, palms are closed. Stay here for one, two, three, four, five. Bring back the lunge position. 
putting our legs behind, back in high plank. <laughs> now we're gonna lift our right hand and straight for one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna do the same for the other hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are still in high plank. Now we're going to walk a little bit forward and come back to the getting into a downward dog. So I'm going to stop here and I'm into a downward dog. So when you do a downward dog, if you can, you can keep the entire foot on the floor. But if you can, this is okay too. We're going to hold here for one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to walk forward. You're going to stand up, arms together. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to go back to the lunge position. Walking back or coming back to the high plank. Now we're going to lift the right leg straight. When you do high plank, you want to be in a straight line. You don't want to do this. That doesn't work your core. It completely takes the pressure off your core. So when you do high plank, you have to be in this position. My leg is straight. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we lift the other other leg, the left leg, straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Coming back to high plank. Walk forward into a downward dog. Walk further, get into a forward bend, stand up, and then bounce together. For one, two, three, four, five. Coming back to the forward bend. I'm going to walk backward to the high plank again. Now, here's a little variation. So this time, we, we're going to move the hands forward. So you can do as much as you can. So my hand is here. And then I'm going to still hold the plank position. This time, the distance is distance between legs and hands is more. We stay here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We come back to the time points. And then we walk forward. Get back into the forward bend, knees bend, trying to get that stretch of the lower back. 
and then we stand up, palms together, breathe in and breathe out. Pay attention to your body and the sensations you're getting. Coming back to the forward bend. We're gonna walk backwards into a high plank. Hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna lift the right leg, bring the right knee to the right elbow. Stay here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back into the high plank. Now the right knee goes to the left elbow. For one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to walk forward. Getting into a forward bend, knees slightly bent. We're going to stand up, arms together, getting back into the sensations of the body, paying attention to sensations. One, two, three, four, five. Get back into the forward bend. We have to repeat the exercise for the other leg. So we're gonna get into a plank position. Now left knee comes to the left elbow. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are still in high plank. Now we're going to move the left knee to the right elbow. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We walk forward, and then we stand up, arms together, for one, two, three, four, five. Getting back in the forward bend, moving backwards into a high plank. Now this time, we're gonna go and do the Chaturanga pose, but uh, with a slight modification. So when we do Chaturanga, basically, you, you're gonna be in a high plank and then go down but you don't touch the ground you stay here and this is called the chaturanga pose but uh, today we're gonna bring a little variation so <clears throat> we're gonna bring the left knee to the right elbow and stay in chaturanga so one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we just do same for the right leg and the right elbow. So we go back to the chaturanga. So one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten.
<laughs> now, walk forward to the forward bend. Stand up, arms together. Break, break. <laughs> no break. You get back into a forward bend and then we walk back into a downward dog. Stay here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We walk back to the high plank. Now, <clears throat> bring the right leg forward. And then put the knee down. And then get that stretch of your hamstring. Now, <clears throat> here, you can do a modification and make it more difficult. And bring your... <clears throat> Left leg up and try to get that stretch. <laughs> get into a lunge, the modified lunge. We lift the knee up and then we go. Put the right leg back, bring the left leg forward, and get that stretch, and then put the knee down, the right knee down, and then with your left hand, get that stretch. Straight. Put the leg back. Knees up. Left leg goes back. Into the high plank. Get into a downward dog. Now, <clears throat> from downward dog, I'm gonna lift my right leg up and get that stretch. Stay here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right leg comes down, get back again in downward dog. Now the left leg goes up and you get that stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Left leg comes down. You are still in downward dog. We are going to go back to the high plank. Now this time, we are going to do a little variation in the plank. So my hands go a little bit wider and then I am staying here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You bring back the high plank. I'm going to move back this direction. We're going to walk forward into a forward bend. Stand up. Palms together. 
you're going to go back to forward forward bend knee slightly bent lower back get that nice stretch coming back to the high plank now right leg comes forward we get into a lunge position like this and switch to warrior one so when you do warrior one uh, make sure your uh, leg is 90 degree but it might uh, if you find it difficult you can find the best possible stretch but if you make it 90 that's the best way into the warrior one Come back on the ground now we are in the still, still same stretch we can, we're gonna turn the left leg and I'm facing now in this direction so my right leg is facing this direction and my left leg is in this direction so I have a 90 degree right and then we're gonna get into a warrior two stay here for one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten. Coming back to this position. Now I'm gonna get into a triangle oh, it's not a triangle pose but it's a little variation. So I'm gonna reach out and touch my right leg to get that stretch. So make sure your your knee is locked, right? and then you can reach as much as you can but if you can reach all the way that's going to give you more much better stretch coming back to this position again we're going to get into a so I'm in the same position where I was in uh, warrior two. So my leg is this direction, left is this direction. Going back to the warrior pose. Warrior pose two. One, two, three, four, and five. Coming back, now I'm going to face in this direction and then I'm going to move my left leg in this direction so I'm facing straight and my toes are facing straight. We're going to get back into the warrior one. Come back down. Right leg goes back. We are still in high. We have to repeat this for the left leg. So left leg comes forward. Stand up into a lunge into a warrior one. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. Now, <clears throat> so it's, uh, I'm going to do it this way so you guys, so I face the camera. So now my left leg is going to be in this direction and my right, right leg here is in this direction. We're going to get back into warrior two. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we get back in this neutral position. Now we're going to reach out and touch the left toes. So I'm going to go down and stay here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Coming back to the neutral position of warrior two. Now we quickly going to get back into a warrior two. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, ten. Come back in this position, the neutral position. Now I'm going to face in this direction and my toes will face this direction. So I'm back in this direction and warrior one. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, right leg goes back, the back in high plank. Knees go down and we get back on the floor. Now here we're gonna do a Superman pose. Now the Superman pose, my chest is up and my legs are up and only this section that I I stand on the floor. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back to the ground. get back into Superman, the chest is up, the knees are up, for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Do you hold your breath? Mm -hmm. No, you bring the breathing. Last time, and to the ground. I'm gonna switch on this side. <laughs> Hold one leg and the other leg if you can. And try to squeeze your legs. Right? And if you can, if you are more flexible, you can go up. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, and 10. We're going to repeat this two times. So we back the leg, the other leg. We squeeze the legs or we get into this position. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm going to repeat this last time. I hold my ankle. Squeeze. Get back into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back into the child pose. Sorry, into the cat pose. And we move down to child pose. Up into the cat pose, triple plank, walk forward, into a forward bend, stand up, and bounce together. Now, next pose is a garland pose, which is more like a squat, uh, but uh, in the garland pose, you try to go all the way down. So, I'm into a squat. I'm, I'm into this position. I have a little bit more width than the shoulder width between my legs. I'm going down. Right? Stay here. Or, if you can, you can grab your legs and then you, with your elbow, you can push your knees. So, like this. So you get a good stretch uh, near your thighs. Stay here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You come back in this position, you stand up, palms together. We are almost uh, close to Shavasana. Mm. So, the next is, we are in this position, right? And then we're going to increase the length between our legs, right? And we're going to go down. Get that stretch. Grow as much as you can. If you can go all the way down, that's the best. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Coming up, get your legs closer and get back to the garland pose where you're in this position and then your elbows are pushing your knees.
back and stand up. Increase the distance with the, between your legs. You're going to repeat the previous exercise, right? And then you're going to go down on your hands. If you can go further down, try your best. And you can go all the way down. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Coming back, bring the legs closer. You're gonna bring your palms together, and uh, now we're gonna do the the tree pose. So. When we are here, we're going to lift our right leg and hold it. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The right leg goes down, and the left leg comes up into the tree pose. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. The left leg goes down, and then we're gonna forward bend. We're gonna go down. The knees are on the ground. Yeah. Get into the Vajra Vajrasana position. And then we're going to sit on the floor with the legs straight. We're going to touch, try to touch the toes and put the ball of the Back is straight. You're gonna bend the legs into a Padmasana. If you can do half, that's fine. So basically, I'm doing half Padmasana. So my left leg is here on top of the right leg or actually right thigh. And then I'm going to twist my back. So one, two, three, four, five. Now, <clears throat> in the half Padmasana, my left leg was on my right thigh. Now we're going to reverse it. Now my right leg is on my left thigh. And then I'm going to get that stretch. One, two, three, four, five. Coming back to this position. And then we're going to repeat this forward bend. You're going to come up and then you're going to lie down to Shravasana. I'm 
And in Shravasana, you have to pay attention to your body sensations and enjoy the endorphin that came through the whole workout and the hard work. Just enjoy this piece for a few, few seconds. <laughs> for a few seconds. <laughs> Whenever you are ready, you can come back into a seated position and uh, we will start uh, a 10-15 minutes uh, loving con compassion uh, meditation. That's a, so, that is 10 minutes recording, Pradeep. Oh, it's a 10 minute? Okay. So it's a 10 minute loving compassion uh, meditation. So this meditation is basically used uh, to basically improve uh, to get rid of the mental impurities such as anger, jealousy, hate, uh, when we practice, when we wish good for us, we kind of generate compassion within us. So that way we have, uh, it's very easy for us to live in the society with, there are so many evils and so it is uh, completely to, you know, get rid of me inner mental impurities. So we're going to start that in, uh, I think if everybody is ready, we can start. In kindness meditation. As we start this meditation, you are welcome to sit or lie down. You can have your eyes open or closed, whatever is most comfortable for you. We will have four phrases that we will work with, silently repeating each phrase with enough space and silence so that it's pleasing for you. The phrases that we will use are, may I be safe, may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I live with ease. We will use these phrases or any other variation that resonates with you. We will begin with the sound of the bell. We will begin by offering loving kindness to ourselves. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. With each phrase, Gather all attention and focus behind it. Feelings and thoughts will come and go. And just release them as they come up. Here, the anchor is not your breath, but the repetition of the phrases. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. May I live with ease. Now choose someone in your life that inspires you, strengthens you in some way. 
It could be a person close to you, or maybe someone you've never met, or even an animal that brings you joy. Someone, when you think of them, you're grateful for. And direct the phrases of loving kindness to them. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. Focus now on someone who might be having a difficult time right now, someone who may be hurting. And offer the phrases of loving kindness to them. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. If you find your attention wandering, don't be discouraged. Just gently turn your attention back to the phrases. Using the phrases as your anchor to this meditation. And now call to mind someone you may not know much about. Perhaps someone in your neighborhood or someone whose name you might not even know. And direct the phrases of loving kindness to them. Know that they also seek happiness just as you do. They are also vulnerable to pain or loss just as we are. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. Now choose someone in your life you may have difficulty with, someone who might be causing you stress. Direct the phrases of loving kindness to them. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. And if you find that it's just too difficult to direct the phrases toward them, just go back to redirecting it to yourself. In that moment, you are the one who is suffering, who needs compassion. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease.
Now direct the phrases of loving kindness toward all beings, toward all people, animals, every form of life, gathering all attention behind the phrases. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. Thank you very much for joining.